Hello, and welcome to Issues and Society, a very informative and of course educative program. My name is Shiyi Adeshino, and of course, like I do promise on a weekly basis, I don't stop bringing to you seasoned politicians, professionals, as well as captain of industry on this program, and this week will not be an exception. Today, I'm really privileged to have a very important person on this program. I would like to say it took me several months to track him down this program, but he's a very busy personality. My very special guest for today is a graduate of the School of Medicine, University of Ilani, Nigeria. He also possesses a master's degree in public health from the University of Wales, United Kingdom, amongst other professional um, certifications. My guest for today, Prior to his uh, present appointment, he served as special assistant in the State House of Abuja. Ladies and gentlemen, please do join me in welcoming the Executive Director CEO, National Primary Health Care Development Agency, Dr. Adu Ghana Mohammed. Sir, you're welcome, Mr. Thank you very much, Mr. Uh, I don't know really don't justice to your pedigree. Can we meet you properly, sir? Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Adu Mohammed, as you said, uh, and um, uh, I am graduate of uh, University of Learning Teaching School. Uh, with um, uh, Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery uh, Qualification. And uh, in addition, I possess a Master of Public Health at the University of uh, Wales, Cardiff, uh, in the United Kingdom. Uh, after my graduation, uh, I I've worked uh, in General Store of Mina, I've had to uh, work at several uh, public health outreach. Uh, I've worked in African Project Consortium. Uh, which is uh, the consolidated attributes uh, that was charged with the ability of implementing the petroleum trust fund projects. Uh, then uh, I've worked uh, in the MDG office as the head of the health sector, and uh, we anchored the whole health sector intervention uh, around the MDGs, which you know is uh, the fallout of the uh, WP uh, that uh, was obtained uh, as part of consensus that uh, our 120 head of nation agree that for every country there should be minimum standard in terms of healthcare and other basic developmental issues. And uh, the MDG is a, as a follow-up of that. So I was privileged uh, to be the uh, first person to anchor uh, the health sector component of the MDG in Nigeria so we can see uh, what intervention is all about. And uh, thereafter, I was also uh, at the State House uh, where I worked as the uh, special assistant uh, in the Office of the Department Secretary, in, ter in, in terms of uh, in charge of the MDGs, mm -hmm. also in terms of uh, the general welfare uh, that has to do with uh, health sector support, you know, that comes to after the, the villa. Uh, so, and here I am today as the Chief Executive and the Executive Director of National Primary Care Agency. Uh, this agency is charged with the responsibility of um, developing national uh, primary health care. Am I correct, sir? It's only so far. The mandate of the agency uh, is um, to support the federal government uh, in terms of uh, being technical components uh, for policy formation that has to be primary care system in Nigeria. Uh, in addition, we are also uh, charged with the responsibility of uh, supporting the states and then building the capacity of the states in terms of the charge of their responsibility for implementing primary care activity in Nigeria. We're also supposed to provide uh, the states and local governments with building the capacity of the uh, human resource, you know, uh, to be able to respond to the dynamic of primary care in Nigeria. Then, uh, lastly but not least, uh, we're also support uh, we're also supporting the states, uh, local governments uh, in terms of fine tuning the human resource requirements. So that at every point in time, uh, the, at the service delivery points, you have a human resource that is responsive, that is competent, that is qualified to deliver and run the most important component of health system, which is primary care. Because as you know, uh, primary care is the bedrock of the Nigerian health system. And uh, what this means is that uh, uh, no matter what you do, uh, if you get in primary care, right in primary care, then everything falls in order. Because the generality of Nigeria, over 70% of Nigerians live in the rural area. And the first contact they have with the health system is a response like And we are talking of equity. And uh, this is a government that places a lot of premise on making sure that Nigerians uh, get uh, best response in terms of health care delivery. And the only way you can do that is through the primary care approach. Can you please let us on some of the achievements? Um, 
so far, uh, I've been on board for the past uh, eight, eight months, and uh, what we've um, done is uh, to reposition Tamaika, to transform it, to give it a new face. And what do I mean by this? What I mean by this is uh, we, if, if, you, if you look at uh, Pramakia in terms of the degree of service itself, there are three components. You look at the inputs in terms of human resource, you look at uh, the structure in terms of the platform to deliver on those services, and then you also look at input again in addition, that has to do commodities and then uh, essential items. We are looking at all these three together. Uh, in terms of uh, human resource, we believe that uh, no matter the platform you intend to deliver on services, if that's important ingredients, that is the human resource, is not there, then you've not started. Even if that human resource is there, if they are not well, their capacity is not built to be able to respond to the needs of the sector, then you've also not started. So, uh, we've uh, set up a very robust, focused and realistic program in terms of building the capacity of primary care workers nationwide, which is the front line, you know, they're the front line workers, you know. So, uh, so far we've, uh, we we'll train uh, uh, virtually uh, over 15,000 uh, workers nationwide, and it's ongoing. Uh, we we'll also uh, set out not only uh, to train them, but also to ensure that uh, it's a regular exercise, so that you we keep on giving them the pressure uh, training. Uh, in addition, we've also uh, using the media service scheme, media service scheme, uh, which you know is a very robust and then uh, 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 realistic program, uh, we've set out to see how we can tackle the issue of matter and talent challenge that we're having. Uh, you are all aware. You are aware that um, our indices in terms of matter and talent come cannot be said to be uh, too, too excellent. Uh, so we are working towards that. We deployed midwives uh, to be filled. Uh, the MSS uh, scheme is, is operational in about uh, 1,000 facilities. We have midwives in 1,000 facilities nationwide, uh, with a total of 4,000 midwives. Uh, in the last uh, few months, we've taken on additional uh, 850 